Dear friends, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to study the endodontic anatomy of the maxillary first premolar. This is the mesiodistal outline of the maxillary first premolar. This tooth has two cusps. So this visible cusp is the buccal cusp. And there's also another cusp behind that is the palatal cusp, sometimes referred as the lingual cusp as well. So there are two roots. This is the buccal root and the root that is just behind this one is the palatal root. So let's study the endodontic anatomy. So in this mesiodistal section, the buccal pulp point, it is visible. And the pulp cavity, it is narrow mesiodistally with a blunt pulp horn and the pulp cavity it is more towards the mesial side the pulp cavity it gradually tapers towards the root apex and the apical foramen of the buccal root it exit are uh, usually at the tip of the root sometime the apical foramen, it either exit on the mesial side of the buccal root or the distal side. Now, uh, this is the outline of the buccolingual section of the maxillary first premolar. So, as I have already described that this tooth has two well-developed cusps. The buccal cusp is slightly larger as compared to the palatal or lingual cusp. There are two roots. This is a buccal root and this is a lingual or palatal root with a large root trunk. So now let's move to the endodontic anatomy. So all the pulp horns and the canals, they are visible from the proximal aspect or the buccolingual aspect. So. The pulp chamber, it is wide. The pulp chamber, it is wide buccolingually as compared to the mesiodistal measurement of the pulp cavity. So, the buccal pulp horn, it is more well developed than the lingual pulp horn, and it is because of the development of the cusp as well. The shape of the pulp chamber, it is square to rectangular in appearance and the floor of the chamber, it is below the cervical area of the crown. There are two separate pulp canals. This is the one canal that is on the palatal side and this is the second canal that is associated with the buccal root. These uh, two separate canals, usually they exit at the tip of the root. But sometimes they may open in a labial or a lingual direction as well. There are variations in the endodontic anatomy and morphology of the maxillary first premolars. So around 10% of the maxillary first premolars, they have a single root and canal like in this picture. So the pulp chamber is this nearly the same with a more well-developed buccal pulp horn as compared to the lingual pulp or lingual or the palatal pulp horn. Then there is a gradual taper and the canal it open at the apex of the root. Now uh, let's discuss about the cross section. So the cross section at the cervical area of the tooth, it is kidney shape.
this is the buccal side and this is the lingual or palatal side and this there's a depression and this depression is present on the crown and some part of the root as well and this is known as the canine fossa the shape of the pulp cavity in this area is it is also kidney shape and the pulp cavity it is more close to the mesial side now there are two separate roots over here this is the buccal one root is the buccal root and this is the lingual root so the canals they are rounded at the apical area of the root now one thing I would like to mention in the variations there are some other variations as well like there are three canals in less than five percent of the cases so uh, but those are very rare sometimes the three canals they are present within a single root sometimes the three canals they are present in two roots and sometimes there are three root separate roots in which the three canals they are located now with advancing age there is reduction in the size of the pulp chamber because of deposition of the secondary and the tertiary dentine so the purple color it indicates the reduction in the size of the pulp chamber with advancing age in the buccolingual section the pulp horns they become very blunt they are not sharp anymore and there's also reduction in the size of the pulp chamber as well Similarly, in the cross-section, the shape of the pulp cavity, it is the same, but there is a reduction in the size. There is a pickle. This one is the apical portion, the root, and there is also reduction in the total size of the, of the canals. So, this is all about the endodontic anatomy of the maxillary first premolar so if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comments please do give us your feedback in the comments and also please like our video thank you very much for watching our lecture uh, please do follow us on instagram as well for questions images and flashcards at dental edu hub thank you very much for watching and stay blessed